Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now in the module number 3 where we are going to learn C-clamp design. C-clamp design with frame. So let us begin with it. So friends, C-clamp design is important because we need to learn its aspects and then we'll go for its formulation. So on the screen you can see there are different failure methods. We know that whenever we need to learn design, we need to learn the failure methods first. So let us look at the failure methods of C-clamp very initially and then we'll move ahead. So there are three to four different failure methods, very first of which is compressive stress. The power screw which is involved in this particular frame is going to fail under compressive stresses. So that's why I'll say screw will fail under compression. Again, torsional shear stress because we are going to rotate this screw and that's why there will be torsion in picture. So torsional shear stress is again an important factor. The next thing is bending stress again of screw and next thing is direct compressive stress again of the screw. Now, when we say torsional shear stress, that is because of rotation as well as friction. There comes the bending stress. Now, bending stress will be caused due to handle. Now, it's surprising how handle is going to come into picture. When handle is there, the operator's force is going to be in consideration. And that is how bending stress comes into picture. So we need to design the C-frame in two parts. The first part will be of course the power screw in which and the second will be the nut. And that's why we need to consider all of them. Let's move ahead with the nut. As far as nut is concerned, only one factor we need to consider and that is crushing. Because the nut will undergo the crushing because of the applied load and the object under which it is kept. There comes material. That's the next part. Now, there are basically predefined materials which are specified by different industries. Generally, carbon steels are used for screw and soft steel or brass is used for nut. In many of the cases, depending upon application, some of them use cast irons also. So, these are the specified materials which we need to consider for the design aspects. So, these are the important things that we need to consider upon which we will learn how to solve the numerical in the next seminar, in the next chapter. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda.